Summer break is nearly over for some Valley students. Tomorrow morning, kids will be headed back to the classroom in at least three school districts. And Steve Nielsen has more tonight on what many are hoping will be a more normal school year. Kids have been through a lot in and out of the classroom for a year and a half, and that goes for teachers too. But starting tomorrow, the classroom doors are open. And this time the hope is it stays that way. Principal Allison Stewart is all smiles as she walks us around Anderson Junior High. These walkways will be packed with sixth to eighth graders for the first day of school tomorrow. Wednesday, Florence, Queen Creek and Chandler Unified School Districts ring the bell again. Their families are so excited. We had an orientation day last Friday and they were you could just feel the excitement in the air. Kids were excited to be back in person, see their buddies. After a year and a half of virtual classes or mask required socially distant classes, things will be different now. Stewart says teachers will be asked to clean their classrooms three times a day. The doorknobs and the desks and anything that's a shared supply, just anything that, you know, little hands touch and uh, we want to get it cleaned a couple times a day just to, you know, do everything we can to keep keep schools open. In a sense, it's really just back to normal for most students. Y equals MX plus B. There's going to be some suck ups and the kids who don't pay attention. There will likely be some mass, but that's a choice that kids can make. But in the last few days, COVID-19 cases have been up recently, just as this school year starts. Are you concerned at all about the new school year with with COVID? COVID? Yeah. No, not at all. Jamie's a Chandler Unified mom and said she won't ask her kids to wear masks in the classroom. Are you excited about going to school tomorrow? Yeah. What grade are you going to be in? Second. Hand sanitizer still in every classroom, but school's going to be more like school with one big change Stewart's hoping for. It used to be a thing, maybe send your kid to school a little sniffly or a little sick and hopefully that's over now. So we just ask for all the community support to, to do your part and we'll do ours and, and we're just really crossing our fingers for an awesome year. Now at this junior high school, the kids go up to age 14. So that means some students are eligible to be vaccinated, but Stewart says that they are not going to at any point ask kids or their families if they're vaccinated, instead just focusing on their education. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.